Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options. This is the morning market preparation video for Friday, Friday, May 17th, 2019. Hey, I hope everyone's having a great morning. We have a market that's setting up for a little bit of bearishness this morning. Probably not a huge surprise from a lot of folks, just based on the fact that we rallied so strongly um, the last um, three days and tagged some major resistance levels. And we talked about this yesterday. So let's take a look at the charts here. And even though futures are pointing to a lower open, I'm hoping everyone was not too terribly surprised by that today. If we take a look um, right in here on the chart, I've got that red line marking um, the major resistance level here in the diamonds. That happens to be right around that 26,000 level of the Dow or 260 here in the diamonds. And you can see we ran right up there, tagged it almost to the penny click through it just by a tick or two, and then we found some sellers. Now that happens to be right at the 50-day moving average right there. And notice how that 50-day moving average rolled up and now has flattened off. We're starting to see a little bit of a pressure zone building right here on the chart. So let's watch this area really closely. Now this just, doesn't mean that we cannot break through and go to the upside. It just means that we could see that temporary pullback right in here. And that little bit of profit taking as uh, the pressure of that resistance uh, builds on the chart. Now this morning, as of right now, we're looking to gap down substantially in this chart. We're gonna give up yesterday's move in this gap down. We've seen that before here recently where we'll, we get these nice moves up and, and we gap it all the way down. What's gonna be critical this morning is that we watch real closely to see if sellers actually support that gap. And what I mean is we gap down and we see those sellers kind of begin to pile on profit taking and things like that starting to happen, pushing this back down because um, right in through this area, there's not much of any kind of price support, um, as you can see, which leaves us um, that opportunity that we could come all the way back down here and test that low. And by the way, keep in mind, that's fairly typical in um, big sell-offs like this where we rally, get that relief rally, and then we come back. Now, we don't have to come all the way back down. We could find support anywhere in here that higher low uh, potential in here anywhere along the way but we do want to watch carefully for that so if we see those sellers begin to kind of pile on um, there could be a little bit of a worry for us here um, in uh, the market also i think it'd be very very wise for everyone to kind of consider the risk of holding um, a lot of positions into the weekend. Remember, we still have all the slings and arrows being tossed back and forth between the US and China on the trade war. And then we have the addition of tensions in Iran continuing to grow as a matter of fact, it's reached such an extent that the White House is now beginning the process of um, uh, a briefing uh, Congress um, on the situation. So um, tensions are growing and um, we don't know, hopefully cooler heads will prevail. We don't know what could come out of that, but we do know that the market will be fairly sensitive to that news. And we've seen that before, you know, it was just two weeks ago when every, we went into the weekend feeling really, really bullish about the market. And as a matter of fact, thinking that we had a trade deal on the way, um, and then we get that notification that China had pulled out of most of everything on that Sunday and we, if we start this process. So remember that weekend can create quite, um, quite the turmoil um, in your portfolio. Hopefully you've made some nice profits in this move. I was talking with members right way options yesterday, suggesting to a lot of folks, take some of those gains, take some of those profits, reduce your risk. And there were a lot of profits taken yesterday um, uh, from members um, in our trade. So 
watch that pretty closely. I don't I don't want to suggest that we're going to fall, but I do want to uh, just continue to remind you of the risk of the weekend and, and the pressures that are here on the market um, looking at that chart. Let's take a look at the SPY real quick. Now SPY, a little bit better situation. SPY actually got above a level of support here and that's a, that's a nice sign because if we pull back, we could actually find some support right there and, and, and live off of that area keep in mind we're still below this resistance level and I had suggested yesterday that this area was where we could come into that resistance um, and those sellers kind of showing up here pushing back down now if we take a look at our moving averages here we can see we did get above that 50-day moving average but this morning's back da uh, gap down kind of threatens that 50-day moving average and if those sellers were to pile on here if we were to get some selling in here that would be a pretty bearish pattern uh, if 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 that were to occur so watch carefully if those sellers do pile on this morning here in uh, the spy or sometime during the day um, we don't want to see that kind of a bearish evening star pattern showing up uh, by the close um, on that trade so let's hope we get some cooler heads here and that we get some support right through this area on the spy and that holds up rather than seeing a sell all the way back down into here Let's take a look at the cues. Now the cues rallied up very, very nicely, rallied right into that zone, and I had marked these areas in here in this zone that this um, uh, this could find some resistance. And we had a, just a beautifully strong move and very little selling here really overall um, on the cues by the end of the day. But this gap down this morning does give us a little bit of pause. Uh, gapping down and trying to give up the majority of yesterday's move. We do have this price support in here that's going to be pretty critical today. If we can hold on to that price support, we could be in really good shape here in the NASDAQ. So watch that level right in there if we can hold on. If those sellers, uh, once again, begin to pile in, we could have some problems here because, as you can see, we're just above that 50-day moving average, and this morning's move lower is going to give us that test of that 50 we need to see those bulls step up and defend that 50-day moving average because if the bears come in and we start drifting like that we could have pretty ugly day uh, by the end of the day hopefully that doesn't occur let's take a look at iwm iwm i think is at the one of the most critical points i'm leaving behind pretty close to a shooting star uh, type pattern here on the chart. If we happen to take a look at this chart, we can see at the close yesterday, IWM um, not only failed at the 50-day moving average, but also failed at the 200-day moving average. And look at all the resistance that we have in this chart um, back in this area. So kind of a critical place here for IWM if we were to continue to follow through to the downside. IWM can oftentimes be that index that leads the market either up or down. And right now, pretty darn ugly um, setup here for the day. And this morning we're gapping down, giving up yesterday's move. Um, that leaves us in a pretty ugly situation, particularly if sellers pile onto there. We could have, that would be a pattern nobody wants to see um, in the chart, a failure at uh, moving averages like this and that uh, bearish candle pattern here so watch that closely if that were to develop that way let's take a quick look at the VIX now VIX um, managed to slip down below this level of support yesterday but I think we're probably going to see that bounce right back up here this morning with this gap down here um, this morning so um, watch this right in here remember I've suggested since all the way back here that the problem would in the market wouldn't be this first move the problem in the market would be if we held this higher levels of support and fear started to creep in that's where the problem would come into the market so we want to watch that pretty closely. Hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully we see that fear continue to, to ebb and continue to, to um, um, rest in here. Now it's okay if we pop right back up. 
but don't really accelerate to that upside. We could bounce around, consolidate in this area, and that would be okay, but we eventually want to see that drop down uh, below that level. So keep an eye on the VIX. T2122 um, doesn't reveal a whole lot to us um, um, because we're, we, we've made that move off of um, this area down here um, and, and we've rallied up substantially, but we still have plenty of room for upside move here in T2122. So we do have upside potential here and that's really what it's showing us, upside potential, but we also have that big open window for the downside move. With the gap down this morning, that could move us down here lower. And if those sellers were to pile on, and we'll have to watch carefully, but if those sellers were to pile on, we could have, um, we could see some trouble here and moving back down toward this um, bullish zone uh, pretty easily, actually. So watch that close. Let's take a look at our economic calendar today. Our economic calendar is extremely light. Not much going on here today. We have consumer sentiment this morning at 10 a.m. Um, usually doesn't move the market around much unless there's a major surprise in that. So not much going on there. And except for a parade of Fed speakers, there really isn't much of anything else moving in this um, in this ca um, economic calendar today. And on the earnings calendar, we also have a very light day with only a few companies reporting, which is a fairly typical Friday. Um, but um, those those um, reports are coming in right now, and they're not helping out the market. First, let me let me show you um, Nvidia. Nvidia reported yesterday. It did beat on earnings, but boy, we sure didn't get a very big response out of it. You can see Nvidia is looking to open right about where it closed yesterday so we didn't get a whole lot of help out of that nvidia report and then uh, john deere um, reported this morning that was one of our our major ones today and john deere um, apparently very much disappointed um, traders so you can see we're gapping down into this area here on john deere that's likely going to have some effect on um, other big dow stocks like uh, caterpillar um whoops can't type this morning caterpillar um yeah it looks like caterpillars getting some selling this morning as well that's going to hurt those dow stocks um, right now dow futures are down 165 points and um so that gap um that that bearishness seems to be uh, building this morning rather than ebbing so we're going to have to watch that pretty closely so with that, everyone, hey, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you know, that's the way the market the, the market comes around sometimes. It kind of shows us that ugly face and we have to be willing to face it straight on um, and deal with um, deal with the possibilities that could exist there. So um, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, could you do me a favor? Click that subscribe button on YouTube. Click the follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. You guys, just awesome. Thank you so much for everyone who does that. Thank you so much to the subscribers. You guys humble me every day with your kind comments. I truly appreciate it. And also, please, please, please feel free to share this video with any friends and family. Remember, the goal of of this uh, channel is to help traders do a better job with their trading, to give them good quality information without a whole bunch of hype, without a whole bunch of prediction that you might find other places. I don't wanna predict the market. I wanna look at the chart for what the chart is telling me, not for what I want the chart to be. And by doing that, I identify these support and resistance levels. And um, I, I got to tell you, it just plain works. So um, if you find this helpful, please feel free to share this video with any friends and family. And thank you very much for all the support and kind words that you guys um, um, leave on the, you know, uh, on these charts. So let me... Um, 
let me give you just a few ideas of trades that could be setting up things that you might want to put on your watch list. I just want to remind everyone that every time I show these, um, I feel it necessary to remind everyone that these are not recommendations to buy or sell anything. These are just simply charts that um, could be setting up. You want to put them on your list, watch list, watch them carefully and pay attention to those trades. So for example, take a look at Ford. Now, um, full disclosure, yesterday, um, I took a position in Ford and some of the members of Rightway Options took a position in Ford. Ford's looking to pull back. Now, I suggested yesterday when we put this on, this was an early entry into this trade. Ford um, showing some strength here. And the reason I did that uh, to give you guys an explanation is this was a pretty substantial breakout here on Ford. And Ford had received just recently some um, some. Uh, warm and fuzzies from analysts and getting some upgrades. Uh, that's not nearly as important to me as the technicals of the chart. And if we take a look at the the price action here, you can see we've, we've broken this major downtrend. We're holding a uh, support area after earnings and that positive report. Now, I can't tell you if this is going to actually be the new current tr uh, new trend. It is entirely possible that this could continue to move sideways over to uh, the main trend here in the chart. So this was an early entry into the trade just in case we happen to get a, a nice move out of it. It's a relatively low risk entry into the position and I like the potential of that chart. Uh, set up and trade set up. So one to watch, one to pay attention to if you're interested in something along those lines with Ford. Let's take a look at some of the other charts. I have mentioned LMT several times and LMT had this uh, pullback here recently with the market pulling back. But a nice recovery yesterday, hammer and a follow through. Um, looks like it could open about where it closed, maybe just a little bit lower today. And with tensions growing um, between U.S. and Iran, some of these uh, defensive sector stocks may um, see some benefit in that. So you might, uh, not defensive sector, but defense sector. Um, so you might want to uh, keep an eye on uh, some of those. Another one might be, I saw NOC yesterday, NOC, Northrop Grumman. Um, um, another defense sector um, play that really moved strongly yesterday. Now, I would be a little bit careful chasing this one right into this price resistance, but you can see a nice little trend in play um, um, in this stock and everything going uh, pretty, pretty well, at least at the moment, and that may be gaining some ground just simply because of the tensions between the U.S. and, and Iran. So really good stocks, um, really big moves yesterday um, in charts. Shopify, beautiful breakout yesterday. I wouldn't chase this now to the upside. Um, I would wait for a rest, consolidation, or pullback, maybe in a move all the way back uh, to the trend, holding support in here. We want to watch this uh, for that potential uh, for moving on higher. That's looking really, really good. For those of you who followed um, these trades that I I'm going to mention now, I've been talking about these for, for days, uh, the potential in these PepsiCo. Congratulations on those who bought PepsiCo. Um, I know a lot of the RWO members were in this, made some money. Some some po folks have already taken the, those profits and walked away. Um, a beautiful chart here. A um, little bit of rest or consolidation that could continue to set up. This is the defensive sector, and we consumer defensive sector, and we commonly see that consumer defensive sector perk up when markets are a little bit nervous. So you might want to keep an eye on those. Um, MDLZ, MDLZ was another one I've been mentioning over and over and over. MDLZ, beautiful return um, on that trade, moving up nicely. Um, now breaking out to all-time highs, um, I would suggest a little rest or pullback before um, considering an entry into that trade, but beautiful trend, one to watch. Procter & Gamble just had a great move, and I been talking about this one and talking about this one. Uh, Procter & Gamble really took off yesterday. It's going to get a little pullback here this morning with the rest of the market, but up this many days in a row, not a big surprise to see this rest or want to pull back 
Um, so keep this one on your list as a potential uh, um, if that continues to hold up. You guys know that I've mentioned BAH several times. BAH, um, that's held up really well during this market sell-off and just continues to grind slowly higher. BAH um, looking pretty decent um, in those charts. So one to pay attention to and maybe kind of keep an eye on. So there's some of the long trades. Now, some of the short trades you might want to be thinking about, take a look at BA. BA rallying back. We have a major resistance area right here now. We broke through this whole area here as support. Now this strong rally back to price resistance um, leads me to believe that we could at any point in time see some failure um, in this chart and the possibility of additional lows here in Boeing. Now this certainly, if, if you see this uh, downtrend, we certainly could rally still into uh, into that downtrend before we fail. But the pressure on the market this morning, we could see that failure pattern come at any time. You can see we're moving a little bit lower here on BA this morning. So that might be one to consider for a short. Another short uh, trade to be thinking about is possibly Caterpillar. Caterpillar um, could easily um, set up um, in that short position and if you uh, take a look at the chart a pretty bearish candle as of yesterday we rallied back up into this price resistance area here let me mark that real quick rallied back up into this price resistance area starting to show that weakness this morning following through to the downside there is a little bit of price support right here but it's it's whoops a little bit of price support but it is uh, minimal and I think the possibility of Caterpillar moving on lower to test some of these uh, bigger le levels down in here could be um, could be in the cards, particularly in light of uh, trade um, war continuing to move forward and moving on. So watch that closely. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day, and I want to wish you a fantastic weekend. You know, this has been a challenging uh, couple of weeks in the markets with a lot of volatility. If you're finding that challenge to be... Um, just a little bit strong um, you know there's no there's no shame in standing on the sidelines and just protecting your capital waiting for your edge to return you know after after nearly 15 years as a full-time trader i gotta tell you some of the best positions i've ever been in is cash when the market is is um too risky so remember cash is a position that is a decision that you as the ceo of your trading business gets to make consider that if you find um this this market being just too cha challenging at the moment and you just need to set aside and let things calm down so with that everyone have an awesome weekend we'll see you all bright and early monday morning right back here take care i wish you all the best Thank you.